to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl, Penny. And today I have my father with me. Hi, everyone. Guys, we are doing a Trader Joe's haul and taste test today. A Trader Joe's haul and taste test. We're really excited to show you what we got. So we'll be tasting a few of these things. And I want to make you aware of tomorrow. We're going to have a Trader Joe's dinner with Dad. So tune in tomorrow. We're going to have this spatchcock sweet and savory chicken. Okay. We're going to have good. Yeah, we're going to have that tomorrow. It's chicken marinated in uh, maple, Dijon mustard, seasoning, vinegar powder, rosemary extract. So it's a it's chicken. Sounds good. Yep, yeah, it's it's like a whole chicken. They take out the the breast and they flatten it out. That's what spatchcock is. We're having that tomorrow. We're also having the seasoned Brussels sprouts with Parmesan cheese, guys. That's what dinner with dad tomorrow is going to be. So tune in tomorrow for that, okay? Let me set these off to the side. Oh, goodness, that's rough on the arms. Okay, I got two items here that I had to warm up in the oven. So that's what we're going to try first, I think. Um, the first thing we're going to try, I'll set this down out of the way a little bit. It is the chicken and cheese green chili pupusas. They are stuffed corn tortillas filled with chicken, mozzarella cheese, and green chilies, guys. Sounds good. This is a new item at Trader Joe's, so we're going to try these. You get three of them in the box. I warmed up two. I did it exactly what the box said to do, okay? So if you're new to the channel. They sound good and tasty. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you're new to the channel, guys, I want to make you aware, me and Dad both want to make you aware, that he has progressive vision loss, guys. It's, it's called macular degeneration. He can see light and he can see dark, but he can't make out detail. So I'm going to cut this up for him because it's like, I'm going to show you real quick. Minus this. It's like a pancake filled with that stuff, okay? I don't want him to pick up the whole thing, so I'm going to cut his up for him. Set this off to the side. So maybe you can pick it up. I guess you can pick it up, Dad. It looks like it's going to okay. hold it. It looks like okay. I'm going to pick it up just like that. You can probably use a knife and a fork, but we're just going to go with the way it is. So you want to try this? It's a little warm, but it's not too hot. It's, uh, you, um, you can air fry it or skillet it as the directions on the box. Um, I put a little oil in the skillet, like I said. Got it a little brown on both sides. It kind of wanted to stick to the pan a little bit, but... It's bland. I agree with that. It's super bland. I thought it would have like the Chetch chilies would give it more flavor. So it's, it is it is like a cornmeal pancake, okay? Yeah. But it's super bland, isn't it? Yeah, it is no salt, no no uh, taste to it whatsoever. It it's has like a cornmeal taste. It's like a cornmeal pancake. I expected to taste more of the cheese because they're, what did I say? It's supposed to have stuffed corn tortilla. You can definitely taste the corn tortilla. Filled with chicken, mozzarella cheese, and green chilies. And don't. It's bland. Okay. It's bland. I wouldn't get it again. It just doesn't have enough I wouldn't flavor. Have a, I wouldn't get it again either. Even if you put hot sauce on this thing, that's all you would taste is hot sauce because there's no flavor in the chicken, the mozzarella cheese I can't taste. The hatch chilies? I can't even taste it has any. No, uh, I can't. I can't taste it. I can't taste it, guys. Uh, I can taste the cornmeal. Yep. So and we do. Then, we do not recommend that. We definitely don't recommend that. Okay. So on to the next thing. So they, this is a new one too. I heard it's twelve mini gin, pumpkin ginger scones with crystallized ginger in them. They're ready to bake. You bake them for like 14, 15 minutes or something in the oven. That's what I did. I'm just going to hand one to Dad. This is how big they came out. So a scone, Dad, is kind of like somewhere between a biscuit and a, it's a sweet thing, right? It's sort of between a biscuit and, guys, help me out here. I think it's English 
usually drink it or usually eat it with tea. Oh my goodness. You usually eat a scone with while you're drinking tea or coffee or something. Mm -hmm. Think about that. It's not very sweet. Yeah. Not a real sweet. Yeah. It's a dinner, dinner taste to it. You taste the pumpkin too? And pumpkin, pumpkin and ginger. It's mostly pumpkin and then you get that little, there's like little chunks of ginger in here. Let me finish chewing here. Now, guys, I don't like stuff that's over ginger powered, you know, um, it turns me off. But there is just a little ginger in here. Come here, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I hate sitting stuff directly on the table. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, the ginger isn't too strong in here, so I appreciate that. Like Dad said, it's a little sweet, but it's not too sweet. I think it's good for a scone, though. It's It's got a, still a little bit of moisture in it. It's not super dry. It's not like eating a biscuit, right? It's yeah. not like that. It's, it's like some, some uh, uh, dessert. Uh, well, could you? Could, or, yeah. Yeah. Coffee or tea. So could you eat one of, like, if I got these again, would you eat one in the morning? It's like with your coffee if I made them or whatever? Or would you say you'd rather not? I'd rather not. That's not your thing? Was it just the flavor? You're just not into the pumpkin thing or what? I'm teetering on, on, on whether I drink it with coffee or... So... I recommend them guys I really do I think they're a decent item they're a quality item I just say that you have to kind of like scones right um, I don't eat like that kind of thing much but I think they're very quality I would get them again if I was like having a little dinner party or something and I was wanting to serve right. tea and coffee I would get them again pop them in the oven they don't take very long to bake I think a lot of people would enjoy them. The ginger, if you're not a big ginger fan, it's not super strong ginger. You can taste it slightly, and I appreciate that because if it's super strong ginger, I wouldn't even recommend these guys because I I don't like ginger like that. So I think they're a decent product. I would say I think uh, they are they are a decent product. They're uh, good for whatever taste anybody has. Right, like yeah, like like. I guess the thing to say is if you're wanting to have like a scone in the morning or if like you have visitors over and you want to be a little fancy or whatever, I think this would be great right, to pop in the right. oven and I say, do, I, do I would say that. here I made us these scones for, you know, like a coffee, a morning coffee or I tea. I think or it would be something uh, like a party like type of thing. coffee yeah. or something like that. Yeah, like you're trying to do a little entertaining. I mean, I just, that that's me. I wouldn't sit around and just buy these all the time and eat them. No. But, but they're good. They're good. Let's go on to this. Almond Chipotle dip, guys. Almond Chipotle dip. This is, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it's vegan. So it's a smoky and spicy plant-based dip and, dip and spread. Goodness me. That's going to give me the hiccup. Let's try this out. If I can get it open. I got the biggest knife possible. This is going to be a little bit of a long video. I'm sorry, guys, but that's what happens when you're trying to do all these taste tests. Man, what a mess, guys. What a mess. I don't know what to try this on. Let's try this on um, the Trader Joe's butter crackers. So I think this is going to have a little spice to it, Dad. Just want you to be prepared. I normally don't like almonds, but uh, well, it, it's not. I, I don't. Like, yeah, I. It's like hard it. to explain. It's not like a chunks of almond. You're not interested in it. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I would not be there. It's warm. <laughs> it. Uh, 
smoky. Mm -hmm. It's got that chipotle flavor. Right. Right. Um, it's not something that I would be available to. Okay. Not my taste. Okay. I think this would be very good on uh, raw, like cauliflower, celery, carrots, dip it in it if you're trying to be vegan, right? Um, there's no milk products in this. I like the taste of it. It does have some good spice to it. It's now getting pretty warm in the back of my throat because right. I ate two with that on there. I like the I like the texture of it. It's a little granular, not too bad. It's pretty smooth considered it's made with almond paste or all ground up almond, okay? But it's not really my thing either. It tastes good. So I recommend it if you like to find different dips for your celery, your if carrot, you like, your cauliflower. Yeah. You like different like veggie dip stuff. I think you'll like this on that, but it's it, you gotta have a little, be able to tolerate a little bit of spice. It's just really not my thing. I don't, if you like that dip, uh, the, the taste, uh, that flavor, it's good for you. Yeah. It's good, uh, good taste for you. Yeah, it's just uh, my. And it's a little warm. Uh huh. A little spicy. Don't, don't ever. Yeah, it yeah. It's starting to get warm in the back. Like I took two crackers with that. But I think it's a good product. I recommend it. But it's just something I think that. No, it's not something that every, I would. I not would everybody's buy. gonna like it. I don't think. But I think if you're looking for a good dip for your veggies or your tortilla chips or something different that's vegan, I think it's very good for that. I really do like. Yeah. If somebody had this at a party, I would eat a few things dipped in it, you know. But for me to say I'd go back and buy another one of these, no, it's just not my thing. Just not my thing. Okay, there's Onda here. We're doing the chicken salad from Trader Joe's. I've seen this. I've always wanted to try it. It says wine country chicken salad with white chicken meat, sweetened dried cranberries, and pecans, guys. That's what it looks like. It's over in the refrigerated produce section. It might be my flavor. It might be your flavor? Chicken salad. I like the end thing with chicken and salad. It's made with salad like uh, dessert. Or not dessert. <laughs> not anything with chicken chicken in it. Well, you're thinking like, mayonnaise. yeah, right, like a chicken salad. That's what it yeah. is. Yeah. That's what you're thinking. Okay, I was going to try to do that, but that ain't working. Let's do it this way. It's pretty chunky. It's a cracker, Daddy, so it's, okay. it's very eat. flat. <laughs> it's very flat. It's got celery in it. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Do you want one more, Dad, or you don't? Yeah. You want one more? I like it. I like it with the, you like it? Yeah, with sweetness. Uh, okay. I don't know how I'm feeling about it, okay? I'll tell you here in a minute. I'm going to do one more just to formulate my opinion here. The cranberries are giving it sweetness, right? It's got big chunks of chicken in it. And like she said, she, she says, you smell the, uh, you taste the celery. Mm -hmm, there's celery in it, the crunch of the celery. Um, it's, it's a do, you good, like, do you like this? It's, it's something that you would uh, where you'd have to sit down. Like, would it be good? Like, if I got a croissant and put this on it, or toasted some good bread and put this on it, could you eat a sandwich of yes, this from I one could. time to time? Yes, I could. Okay, so you wouldn't eat it a lot, is what no, you're trying to say? No. I okay, it's it. it's a little too sweet for me. It's a little too sweet for me, guys. Um, I think it's a good product. I really do. I think from time to time. 
if we got some really good like butter croissants and put some of this on it maybe a piece of cheese or something on there that probably wouldn't do cheese but you know i'll put it on a sandwich from time to time i would get it for that purpose but would i get it a lot no because it's just on that border of being a little too sweet for me i think it's a good product yeah, i recommend I, I, I it I if, too. if you don't like too sweet of like chicken salads this might be you might be feeling the same way about this to me I think you feel like it's favorite. good you'll feel like it's good enough right but if you're if the sweetness level if you don't like your chicken sauce too sweet, then you're not going to like it as much. But I think I, you'll be able to eat it. I think you know, the people, the majority of people, will like the taste of that. Do you think so? Yeah. I think so. I think, uh, I think it's. I think it's it's a, one of the one of the kind of tastes, and it's it would taste pretty good. Yeah, it's just a little sweet, a little too yeah. sweet. I feel like if it was just a little yeah. bit sweet, I'd really like it. You okay. Could, you could salt, salt it down. I know. I well, almost salt it down. <laughs> this is curry chicken salad, guys. Curry chicken salad. I've seen this a million times at Trader Joe's. I haven't tried it yet. I figured today was the day we're trying it. Are you ready to try curry chicken salad? Curry chicken. Curry. I don't like curry chicken. Well, I this is curry chicken salad. I, I don't like curry chicken, but curry at all. But. Well, okay, he says he don't like curry at all, but it has been so long that I don't even know if he know remembers what curry's like because he's talking. He tried curry probably fifty years ago. Mostly and, Indian. Right. Indian. Uh, no, it's not Indian. Not yeah, it's American not, Indian. No, yeah, like yeah, Native, not Native American, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm going to give this to Dad really quick. I'm going to get a bite, but I also wanted to read something because I just saw something in here that I was wondering what it is. I think I know what it is, but... No, oh, no. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. I, I love Indian food, guys. I do. I think this has raisins in it. I, I, I don't like it at all. I don't like the aftertaste to it. I don't like the... Yeah, it has raisins and carrots in it. Mm -hmm. I like Indian food. I like some curries. Mm. I this like is the... sweet. It's got that curry flavor. It's got that little zing, you know, curry flavor. It's got raisins in it. There's nothing in here that I don't want. There's, I mean, the stuff I like, okay? I'm not saying by the ingredients. But the taste of it overall, I don't like. The I just mixture, don't like it. The yeah. mixture is not good. I just don't like it. It's not gross, but it's not my flavors. I would not get this again. Um, this would be up to you guys if you'd want to try this curry chicken salad. It'd be up to you. If you really, really love curry... Um, but this is like a sweet curry. It's yeah. got a little warmth from the curry, right? But then it's got the sweet from the raisin and the carrots. Ah, that's just not, that's not for me. That's not for me. It wouldn't be for me. <laughs> it's not for me. It's not a, not an extra taste that I like. It's not in my mouth. Ah, it's not my, it's not for me either. So we're not going to try these, but I always wanted to show you guys these. They have super chocolate, super chocolatey, gluten-free chocolate chunk cookie dough that you can just break apart and bake in the oven. Uh, for it being a gluten-free product, I heard they're very good. I didn't make any, but one night maybe me and dad will make some cookies. But I just, I thought having a gluten-free option was kind of nice. You don't see that very often. And some people can't have gluten. No. Trader Joe's chocolate and vanilla creams. Uh, I've heard that these were a little bit different than their regular JoJo's, their chocolate JoJo's. It's new packaging, of course, if that's, you know, I don't know. But I heard they're different than their regular JoJo's. So we're going to try these chocolate, chocolate vanilla cream cookies. Dad likes to have some cookies with his coffee in the morning, so we're going to see if this passes his... Shaped like an Oreo. It's 
about the size of an Oreo, guys. The package seals up quick. It tastes quite a bit like an Oreo, don't you think? I do. They're not exactly. The Oreo was a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger around. Um. But it tastes it tastes like a Oreo. It, it really does. That's most most of the flavor. The chocolate is a little bit different tasting than the chocolate in an Oreo. Um, but it's so close. It's very close to an Oreo. I recommend these. I would do. I would. Uh, I would. Uh, I think. Pay some, I would not pay some. Oh, you like them? Uh, you would. You would get them again. For a coffee or mm -hmm. something like that. So you, if I got these again, you would eat them. No, I, I, I wouldn't buy pay some, but I guess I would. Yeah, they're yeah. not. They're not too bad. Um, I think any kid would love these. If you put them in a cookie a cookie jar, yeah. I think you would never know this. Yeah. Yeah. They're really close to an Oreo, guys. Really close to an Oreo. Let's try something a little salty. Cause I thought these were so cute, guys. I had to try them. Trader Joe's Ghosts and Bats Crispy Potato Snacks. So the the crisp are shaped like bats and ghosts. So we gotta try them out. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I have a knife. Well, hold on. I don't think there's no flavor. Hold on. I don't think it's just like a, uh, I'm not sure what it's like. A potato crisp. So, they look like little bats, guys. I'm going to just go give Dad a few of them here. Um, I'll show you a little closer. I think he's getting a little antsy here, so. They don't have much flavor. No. They're cute. In shape, okay. This is a bat. There's a ghost. They don't have much flavor. They taste like they don't have no flavor at all mm -hmm. to me. They have the taste of like veggie, uh, what do they call those veggie straws? That starchy, hardly any taste, just a tad a bit of salt on them. They don't have much taste to them. They don't have no taste. I think kids would like these just because they're bats and ghosts, but us adults, this doesn't, it doesn't have any taste, so. Right. I wouldn't recommend them. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend them. They just don't have no taste. They're just too bling. Okay. I had to try this, but I'm going to show this real quick. I got this last year. They had it in a different container. I liked it so much I had to get another one this year. It's their apple cider scented foam, foaming hand soap. I keep that in the kitchen. I have one in the bathroom too. But I love it. It, it makes your hands nice and smooth. And This is something I always get when I see it. Okay, guys. The pumpkin cheesecake. This is the prize possession. I hear a lot of people have a hard time getting them. They had a bunch of them at my Trader Joe's. I eyed them last year and never got them. And since we're doing these videos, we're going to try one, right? So, the pumpkin cheesecake. I've heard some things about this, so we'll find out. Okay, mine looks good. I've seen other people get this, and the top of the cheesecake looked really, really bad. This one looks good, so. So they have a New York style cheesecake, like everyday type thing. Try to get this off of here without tearing up the cheesecake. 
Okay, I'm just gonna cut us a little tiny sliver, Daddy, because. Yeah. Normally, I don't like too sweet stuff. Uh, there's, uh, too well, sweet. that I don't. How can you say that? Oh, I, I don't know. How can you say that when you like fudge? I and... don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm stealing your plate here. So here, I got a fork. I, I got a fork. Okay. I don't think you're meant I to. I don't know what. I gotta watch it. I, I gotta watch this plate, honey. It's a piece of cake, honey. I don't it's know. a piece of cheesecake. It's a piece of cheesecake. I try not to cut too big of a piece. Man, I got sticky all over my hand, guys. You know I hate sticky all over my hand. I ain't eating with that fork. Not with that curry chicken salad. Like no. Picking it up and eating it. We got tired doing the work. I can't okay. cut it. Okay. It's got a graham cracker bottom. It's pumpkin, but it's not super over pumpkin. I'd rather just have plain cheesecake. <laughs> what do you think about it, Dale? I think it's a good product, okay? I think you just have to be super in love with pumpkin to really love this, right. okay? Right. I like the graham cracker crust on the bottom. I like the texture of the cheesecake. It's silky. It's not too dry and crumbly. To me, it tastes of pumpkin. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Pumpkin it's pumpkin. Is, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. But to me, it tastes a little sweet and a little pumpkin flavor all the way through. Yeah. But it, would you say it's like too over pumpkin -y or just, a, I mean. Yeah, it, it's too over tomorrow. But it doesn't seem, seem like it to me. I just feel like you have to really like pumpkin flavored stuff, okay, to enjoy this uh, pumpkin cheesecake. Now, somebody gave me a bite, a little sliver of this at a party or I went to their house or whatever. I would eat it. I like it. But do I like it enough to just want to say, oh, I got to get that every time? No, I don't. So. But I recommend it. It's a good product. I think if you like pumpkin flavored things and you like the idea of a pumpkin cheesecake, I think it's a good product. Do you think it's a good enough product yeah, to recommend I do, it like I that? Do. I, yes. I mean, it's got flavor. It's got a good graham cracker crust on it. The price isn't too bad. So, I mean, I recommend it for that. Yeah, you too? I, I would do. I would do. Guys, we got a mess on this table. Okay, we got a couple more things. You can think you can hand, handle uh, a couple more things? Yeah. Okay, this is a, I think this is a new product this year, guys. Don't quote me on it, but it's maple flavored fudge, guys. Maple flavored fudge. Now, Dad likes fudge. He likes peanut butter fudge. Peanut butter fudge. You like chocolate fudge maple, so uh, maple is Not so much? Not so much. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Let's turn the bag around here. I'm just going to hand you a piece that it'd be hard for you to fuddle for okay. that. It's a little tiny piece of fudge. What's the size of it, guys? There's quite a few of them in there. It's super sweet. But... It's maple, but does it kind of taste like butterscotch to you? They have like a butterscotch flavor. Like you can taste the maple. Yeah, and taste the maple being right down. Above. And you're right at the end. Mhm. Mm like a super maple at the beginning, like a good maple, not like some fake cheap maple or whatever. It's got a good maple flavor at the beginning. If you like maple flavoring, it is a good, a good mm -hmm. dessert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a good candy. And as you're chewing, I know I'm doing my hand. 
as you're chewing, it's kind of confusing. Like my brain is trying to wrap my, I'm trying to wrap my brain around it, right? As you're chewing and you know, like you're swallowing and let it go down. Like right now when I'm tasting a little bit, I can taste a little saltiness and it tastes like a butterscotch. Yeah, it afterwards. is. Afterwards, mm -hmm. afterwards, it does. It's, it's kind of good. Um, you couldn't eat much of that, guys. That is super sweet, super sweet. Not recommended if you've never tried maple flavored fudge. If you like maple flavored things, like Dad said, if you've never had maple before, I recommend it. It does have like a good, decent maple flavor at the beginning, but at the end, I'm kind of tasting butterscotch. And I don't know if it's more like the salted butter that they put in because I taste a little bit of like a salt in it, but it's not like standing out like that. You know what I mean? I could just taste it. I was trying to discern what I was tasting. Um, but I think this is a good product. I, think I do too. I, I think it's a very good product. If, it, if anybody likes maple mm -hmm. or uh, butterscotch, or if you like fudge, yeah, if you like fudge, if you like fudge and maple flavoring, it is good. Yeah, it, it's it good. It's got a good a, candy. Yeah, it's got an old fudge texture. Okay, so I like that no fail fudge where it's nice and creamy kind of fudge. I love that kind of fudge. This is like the old school fudge texture. It's a little granular, but it's not too dry. It wasn't too crumbly, but it's, it's, it's a little dry, a little granular, but it's the old school fudge texture. And I think if you've had fudge, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's not bad. I recommend it. I do too. I would recommend it to people who like flavor. Who like the maple flavor. Yeah. We got a couple more little things here. I thought these were cute. I've seen them before. They are fall leaf tortilla chips. And they look like different fall leaves. There's red, orange, yellow in here. They're just tortilla chips. I'll give you a couple to try out here today. But anyway, they're different colors. Look, guys, it's shaped like a leaf. There's like yellow. Like an orangey one. It's just a plain salted tortilla chip. I think it's gonna be cute. Put some of these out in a bowl with your salsa or whatever, you know, for the fall season. But they're just a plain tortilla chip. There's nothing fantastic about them. They're salty, they're crispy. It's just, they're just plain tortilla chips, guys, with the shape of a, of a, of a leaf and the coloring. They, you know, they'd be right good with, they'd be good with salsa, right? Yeah. It is a regular tortilla chip. <laughs> to there's, me, a, it is. there's nothing fantastic about yeah. it, nothing brand about it. They're just good little chips. I think it's, you know, for the fall, they'd be cute put out with some salsa and looking good. That's all. Just to look cute. Okay, the last thing. Mini maple flavored marshmallows. <laughs> maple flavored. Yeah, well, it's fall. I mean, yeah. it's fall stuff. Mini maple flavored marshmallows. We're going to give these a little. It's fall stuff. Mm. You got the biggest knife in the world for this, too. Put pumpkin on it and everything else. <laughs> got it on the pack. Okay, I would say maybe hold out your hand. Okay. It, okay. It's, a, it's just, they're just little marshmallows. They're not white, guys. They're like a tan color. Can you taste them, maybe? Not so much. Slightly. And slightly. Very slightly. If you do those in the hot chocolate, it can be uh, fine. Yeah. Because they feel like they, they taste like a regular right marshmallow. Now. Yeah. The maple's so slight. So, I mean, if you just like the idea of it, I don't think it's going to lend much flavor as far as like maple in your hot chocolate or whatever. But I mean, they're cute. I mean, I recommend them. I think you would throw them in the hot chocolate and it would be fine. Yeah, just like a marshmallow, you know. 
I'm just trying to figure out what the what the excitement I about the more, about them being maple. What's the excitement about it? That's what I think. The more the flavor, the more the, the more in your mouth, the more flavor yeah. of uh, more, uh, maple you get. They don't have much flavor, guys. <laughs> I expected them to have a little more maple. Yeah. So anyway, you might really let these guys go. Yeah. Woo. We're full of tasting all these things. Come back tomorrow, guys, and watch that dinner with Dad. It's all piled up underneath there. It's the Brussels, roasted Brussels sprouts and the spatch, uh, I'm going to say it wrong, spatch, spatchcock chicken. Um, I forget the it name sounds, of it. It uh, sounds good. But it's the fall flavored water or whatever. Come back tomorrow and watch us do that and see if we like it. Um, until then, um, we hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner. Or a great late night snack, guys. But most of all, we hope you have a great day. A great day and a better tomorrow. And God bless you all. Yes, guys. God bless. Come back tomorrow. See what we're eating. See what we're reviewing. See if we like it or not. Well, you already know what we're doing tomorrow, guys. Until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.